think that one of the most powerful gifts that Quakers have to offer the world is an understanding of discernment and a practice around discernment and understanding that there is something larger than us guiding us and that there is a practice of listening and discerning that can help us know our right path. I think that if we are to realize the kingdom of God here on earth, it has to involve each of us following our deepest leadings from moment to moment. And we need to support each other in, in doing that. And we need to teach people how to do that from a very young age. In the light of God, I hold you up in my own heart. I'm Anna Fritz. I am a member at Multnomah Monthly Meeting, and I am a cellist and folk singer and songwriter and composer. Well, I've been a professional musician for most of my adult life. Um, and in 2013, 14, I was coming back to Quakerism after the, the thing that a lot of young adults do of kind of meandering away. <laughs> um, and I, I was attending this meeting, Multnomah, and, and really connecting here and actually starting to put down roots. So I went to the Pacific Northwest Quaker Women's Theology Conference and had my first experience there of performing my songs out of worship. And that was really transformative for me, as was the reaction from friends, which was, you know, do you have a, do you have support for this ministry? And I was like, this what? <laughs> So having what I was doing named as a ministry by friends outside of myself um, and then connecting with friends in my yearly meeting that were wanting me to bring the music to their meetings. I traveled in Washington State sharing my ministry um, at a number of different meetings. Um, and that was my first experience of uh, spiritual accompaniment, actually having um, someone supporting me, um, which was novel to me as a, a, music, a touring musician who is used to doing wearing all of the hats and doing everything alone. It was such a rich experience of seeing the power of spirit moving through me and, and having it reflected back. Um, seeing the power of the songs that spirit had given me and watching them at work in the communities that I visited. It showed me that I had, to, I had to keep doing this, even though it was hard for me, even though I'm an introvert who doesn't really want to perform, <laughs> um, that there was real medicine for my people in, in what I had been given. In my work as, as a solo performer, even when I'm performing in bars or clubs, I see my work as carving out sacred space in that secular environment. And when there are people in the audience holding you in prayer, it makes it a lot easier to do that. <laughs> I've always struggled with performance anxiety. That's always been a thing I've just had to deal with. And when I was working as a musician that was primarily entertaining people, um, that performance anxiety was v very ego-centric. It was, I was concerned that I wasn't good enough, that I was gonna make mistakes, that, that it was gonna reflect poorly on me. Now performance for me is, is an opportunity to connect to the divine with the other people in the room. I now prepare for performance with prayer and with a deep understanding that my work is to get out of the way. My work is to surrender to spirit's will and to 
spirit's movement through me and that there are no mistakes. I'm still really nervous, <laughs> but it's okay. Green Street Friends Meeting in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, just to say thank you for watching this Quaker Speak video. I'd also like to thank Anna Fritz for sharing her music with us this week. If you'd like to hear more of her songs, you can click on this link down here. And finally, this is one of my last videos as the director of the Quaker Speak Project. It's been an amazing six years, and if you'd like to keep in touch with me, I'd love it if you signed up for my newsletter. I'll put that link below this video also. Thanks again for watching. Have a great Thursday.